This video I'll be turning regular bleach into an extremely unstable and powerful oxidizer, which can be used in most amateur rocket fuel compositions. This oxidizer is potassium chloride and was once used in fertilizers and now it's mostly known as the go-to for amateur pyrotechnics. <coughs> the first way of making chlorides is the one I really dislike, which is electrolysis. I don't personally like electrolysis mostly because of how long it takes. And another problem is electrodes as well. These can wear over time and then you have to spend the precious money to replace them. But the bleach route is the true way for G's to make the chloride. You can also use chlorine and hydroxide but that one is only for the clinically insane. So first I've added around 200 ml of 15% concentrated bleach to a beaker. Then I put it on a hot plate and let it rip. As the heat rises the mixture starts to foam up and the bleach loses a bit of that green color. What's happening here is the disproportionation of sodium hypochlorite, which is an extremely strong oxidizer and is the most powerful out of the chloride family. Under heat it basically breaks down into sodium chloride and sodium chlorate. Second of which we of course want. After an hour and around 50 minutes gone there is already some precipitate. This is most likely some sodium chloride and this should be discarded. I've instead just dissolved it in more water, because I thought it would recover some of the chloride that precipitated along with the chloride. However, I probably should have just dumped it out. So I filtered the solution once most of the stuff dissolved again. Anyway, this is a bunch of potassium chloride and hippity hoppity you're now in watery. <coughs> After mixing everything I waited for as much of it to dissolve and then I've added it into the now salt and chloride mixture. At first there was no immediate precipitate, however eventually something started crystallizing. Basically by adding potassium chloride we're replacing the sodium ion in the chloride ion with the potassium ion. In contrast to sodium chloride, potassium chloride is way, way less soluble in water. In fact it's the less soluble thing in the mixture. This makes it extremely easy to separate and get a decent purity of the chloride. So I went ahead and put it in the fridge for it to crystallize fully. The next day something crystallized however I think it's hard to see on camera. But if you really squint your eyes the white color on the bottom of the beaker are chlorate crystals. The whole thing was stirred and then filtered. Then I've left it out on the sun to dry and voila. Here's the biggest chlorate crystal in the batch. Now to process this into rocket fuel I first have to powderize it. Because my mortar exploded when I tried to melt brass in it I will use my coffee grinder. So let it rip. Now that the chlorate is powderized, let's test it by adding it to some sugar. You can see here it's pretty underwhelming but that's mostly because sugar here is in the form of really small sugar crystals, which just don't burn really well. Now let's test it with some real shisa. This is some hexamine which I stole from my black homie Frank and is the perfect fuel for the job. At first I've added way too much chlorate here. So I've added a little more hexamine. Anyway here we go. You can see here why I really like using hexamine as a fuel. Not only does it burn really long but with a, but with a proper oxidizer it can burn really fast too. Afterwards I've clenched everything with some water. This was a really cool demo, now what about making a rocket engine? Hey you, yeah you, Prussian Blue is coming to Discord! You, you should, should join my Discord server now. NOW! After a bunch of freaking around the bush I almost died out of frustration. This just didn't want to light itself and it's the last time I'm using these shitty toilet paper gunpowder joints. Eventually I got so fed up that I just went in and started with a Bunsen burner. You may not sense this but at the time I was questioning my sanity. It was just fucking farting! I was pretty pissed off that my pyrotechnic urges were not satisfied. This was probably one of the most underwhelming rocket engine tests I've ever seen and now my day is ruined.